Hey, what's up, folks? Venture for Relics coming back at you. How's the treasure fam doing? I've got nothing too old on the table here, but some interesting finds none the least. So let's dive in. Starting off here, we got us a wild strawberry. Dr. A. Fowler's extract. Followed by another screw cap. Dr. A. Fowler's extract. Could be strawberry too, but it doesn't say that on this one. Uh, then here we just got sort of a plain Jane liquor bottle. I guess I'm going to have to back out to get it in frame here. Just sort of like the shape of it anyway. Crown top. Put that off to the side. And up front here, I should know what this insignia is. I'm going to have to look this up, but I didn't for the video. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, it's not our... It's, it's HR or... Not too sure. It doesn't say anything on the bottom, but anyway, I, I know it'll be a like a toiletry product, whether it be an aftershave. Well, possibly a perfume too, but I don't know. Set that aside. Then next, we've got our favorite. We always like those little cobalts. Little screw cap. And we follow it up here. This had the label on it. It's uh, like a European liqueur. Uh, sort of cool uh, Art Deco design there, just on the on the sides. And we follow that up with just a recessed panel medicine here, but screw cap once again, so not very old. Probably 30s, 40s, but like the recessed panels on it. And next up, we've got us. Let's get it in frame for you here, folks. Parsons. Parsons. Now, forgive me, I might pronounce this wrong, folks, but to me, it says. What is it? Is it S U C? Yeah, S-U-C-S-U. -S so, Susu? Or Susu? Susu ammonia. Ammonia bottle. But that's a bit of an Art Deco thing, or weave design here on the sides of the bottle. Sort of cool. Oh, and actually, folks, this one is dated, too. Hang on here. Get this in focus for you, folks. It does have a year on it. Ay, 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 ay. Where did that go now? Hang on. I'll turn it around for us. We get some better lighting in here. Yeah, 1933. Pretty sure. Maybe I have that wrong still, folks. I know this is from the 30s. Hang on here. I'm going to get us closer to the light here, just so we can see this. Parsons ammonia. Ay, ay, ay. I know this had a... I know this had a date on it. Yeah, it's 1930. 1930. I don't know why I cannot make that out now. Anyway, have to take my word for it, folks. I'm wasting all my time on this, but 30s anyway. And last but not least... We have a condiment jar here. 
let me back up a bit so we can get it in frame like the uh, hourglass design on it there and the recessed panels and I'm pretty sure that this one is dated as well if we can get it in focus here yes 1927 registered 1927 excuse me and we do have a maker but I can't make it out it's really really worn down hang on here I don't know if I can see it just with my glasses something glass no I can't can't make it out folks so anyway there's another little roundup of some recent finds and we'll come back at you with some more as they come in venture for relics over and out